This is a video on how to use the um, Scopy analyzer and function generator and all that. So previously, you should know how to turn uh, start Scopy and make sure that your um, your M2K is plugged in. We need to start with a signal. This is the first time you've ever done it. It'll come up at constant and uh, waveform. It might come up with a different uh, value, but we have one volt peak to peak, one kilohertz. And in order to get it to work, we have to click run. Then to see that this is working, we go to the oscilloscope and we have to click run. And I can zoom in uh, with and zoom out. as I like. Um, there are some things we can do here, is we can even measure things like the period, frequency, peak to peak, and um, you can even turn on the RMS voltage. But today is really about the fast Fourier transform and the spectrum analyzer. So you just click over here and run and it will take a while to calculate. Now yours might be in a different um, configuration when it starts. So if you click on sweep, right, it usually starts at one and goes all the way to 50 megahertz. Um, and it's also in this kind of unit, all right? So what we wanna do is look at the peak, right, which will be the amplitude. RMS would be just like LT spice, right, but we want the peak, um, which is going to be 0.5, oops, because the amplitude of a one volt peak to peak signal is 0.5, all right. Still not quite right. Um, let's zoom in. We'll keep here at one hertz, but let's zoom into um, ten kilohertz, and you know we can come out to a uh, hundred hertz here. Now, um, I don't want to look at the marker right now. In order to get the right amplitude, you do have to make sure that you're using the right window. And that's a little bit beyond this class, but basically if you want, if you use the flat top, it should um, work. So we're getting an amplitude of 0.5 at one kilohertz. Um, we can look at the markers and if I, want to go from peak to peak, I can go like this. And there's peaks in there. These are just peaks from left to right. But on a linear scale, you can't see them. So if you want to see the next highest amplitude, you just keep clicking that. And eventually, you should get to where you want to go. And if it doesn't, just grab it with the left mouse button and click it there. Um, oops. Of course, it's making a liar out of me today. Let's just keep I'm going to sweep in just a little closer. Okay. And you should be able to see eventually the peak 
is uh, 0.497. All right. Now, um, let's try a different signal than just a sine wave. So let's click on a square wave, right? Um, it's a one volt peak to peak. Um, this is gonna delete the DC offset anyway, so I'll just leave it like this. So it's automatically updated in the spectrum analyzer, all right? And here we have our first peak, but we're not getting the full range. So let's go to sweep, oops. Okay, and it can take a while for it to calculate, but there's the first harmonic, third, fifth, seventh, ninth, and so on. And now with these extra peaks, right, I should, this should go to the next highest amplitude. And so I have 0 0.217, 0 0.133, and so on and so on. And um, again, if you click on the settings for channel one over here, um, flat top is what you need. If you use hamming, that's optimized for something else. The values won't be quite right. All right, but for what we want, we want uh, flat top. Okay, now one other thing is we can go back to the signal generator. We can go to math. And what I've done, which I think um, be a little bit hard to see, but what I did is I took those constants and I just programmed it I wrote it in Word and then cut and paste it in here. And so these are the um, the harmonics up to B11, right? So you can see it's starting to look like a square wave. So let's go back to the spectrum analyzer and you can see they're there. The higher order ones aren't there, all right? But, um, Let's go back to the signal generator. Even with this many, I'm not getting an exact replica, right? And I can do an infinite amount, but due to the Gibbs amount on it, which I encourage you to look up, you, you can't recreate it like this. You can recreate it mathematically, it's equivalent, but when you actually go to do it, um, for reasons I won't get into here, all right, it all doesn't work. Um, and we can look at one last waveform. We can put a uh, rising ramp, right? Everything's out of kilohertz. Go back to the spectrum analyzer. Click on markers. And go through the peaks. And now there's a peak at every harmonic, right? And you should see 0.314, right? And if I go back to the signal generator and um, let's do 10 kilohertz, right? Come back to the spectrum analyzer Right, it's a little bit off. I just have to change the sweep to go to um, 100. I'll zoom in here. Oops. But notice the um, the coefficients up here should be the same. Right. The only thing that's changed is the x-axis. Um, that's pretty much the basics of uh, taking the FFT 
uh, with um, Scopy, other things is that you can export this as comma separated values. Um, so you could actually read that into Python and plot it. Um, and you can export. Oops. I'd have to look it up myself to get um, how to how to print this screen, but um, that's for another day. So um, go through all this and just you know repeat this video for yourself.